Hello everybody, this is Walcrawl, and here we are in our All Achievements Hollow Knight guide, and today we're doing the Pantheon of Hollow Nest with our Soul Binding. So, uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to run a... Let me see which charms I'm going to lean into on uh, this one. I think... Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do my standard. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know that I advise. I'm trying to think of what I would advise someone to do. As opposed to what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely would do the quick slash and unbreakable strength. With the soul being an issue, I am not gonna do my soul catcher, and um, because that's just a waste. Basically, the the same amount of hits end up filling that bottom, that one thing you can do. So, I do think I still want shaman stone though. Um, I could I could definitely see a good argument for leaving it behind. But I do, I will still try to get some hits in with, with uh, Soul to try to hurt enemies with it. Um, and so I think I'm just going to get me Long Nail. Uh, trying to think of whether I want Long Nail or whether I want... I'm, I'm going to go with Grub Song and I'm going to go with uh, Nail Master's Glory just so I can get those, um, those nail arts a little faster. And uh, Grub Song will... Give me a little bit of that soul back immediately that I might need to heal. So, I know there's a good argument for for other things, but that's what I'm going to go with as I try without soul. So, let's do this! Okay. So, my tips, if you watch my other videos, they may be a bit repetitive, but go after the one here on the right first. He has uh, less health than the one on the the um, the left, so it's hard to keep track of him. Honestly, I'm gonna blast! Ouch! Ouch! There we go. Got him. Once you get one taken care of, it gets uh, uh, significantly easier, and then you can get your little heals in while uh, he's hovering and deciding to scream over at the corners and stuff. But um, I do like to build it up, and my favorite way is to get up underneath them and then uh, hit them with an Abyss Shriek to so get a, a good amount of hits in. So Some people decide to get up there in the corner and pogo, pogo, pogo. I'd, uh, my style is to get up underneath them. Um... I do want to try to access uh, Abyss Shrieks for the Grussmother. Grussmother doesn't like them. She told me so in like a letter she sent me. She's like, hate them. Um, so, Pogo, Pogo, Pogo. There we go. Pop. And uh, she's done. So, just try to get underneath her. And release those uh, uh, abyss shrieks if you have them. I understand that um, you may be real hesitant to uh, jump in and use them. Now the the failed champion could be a real pain in the butt in the false knight. Uh, the false knight's not too bad just because you're really way uh, overpowered for him at this point. But um, the failed champion it really helps to have. Um, uh, soul to use to fight him with, so. But, um, yeah, you're just gonna stay close to him and just lean into him, especially if you have your quick slash on, and you can basically put him on the ground right away. Um, do refuel on him if you've taken some hits. If you keep hitting him, he'll stay on the ground. If you clink his little shell, he'll stay stuck to the ground and won't be able to get up. All right. I just dash through and turn around and shoot. I don't know why I jumped in the air. That's not the way to play him. So 
when it pops up you if you have quick slash you can just spam it slightly slower than you normally hit and he will die so you just got to get kind of used to uh, that and not freak out if you go too fast he'll creep on into the the, the swings for some reason I step right here to this spot and then slash upward and uh, Hornet, you get some little preemptive hits on Hornet. It's also not a bad thing to do um, nail arch uh, and hit her with the uh, Cyclone Slash, especially for me. Um, now, she will sometimes shoot out a nail like she did just then. And um, when she does, uh, she'll, she'll end up hitting you. But usually in the whole time, you can uh, ground her. And uh, get your heal back. But that's only if you're doing well. You don't want to just kind of trade off uh, damage for having to heal that back. Okay, it's Gorb time. Um, I do great slashes. And just hop up. And, um, oops, go back a little bit. And uh, Gorb shoots. His, uh, he's on to phase f two after you uh, get him like four times. And if you'll notice, his it, he shoots out these things, and then his second wave of shots is exactly in the middle of where the other ones were. And then when he moves on to phase three, I uh, oh, dash slashes are really good because they provide you some protection as you're coming in because you got your shade cloak. I almost didn't not use my uh, protection very well though. Okay, okay, you're dead. Woo! Ascend. Yep. Okay, so this is a little more challenging, but um, still try to smash him out of the ground because usually he comes back and he he lands on his uh, back, and um, it it take you get like two or three hits already as he does, and so you like refuel your soul. Um, and by the time he can jump back down into the ground. So, pow, 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 and I'm refueled. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, on these, I just kind of step away. If he swims in the ground like that, I jump up and try to pogo him. And um, if he's throwing the things, I hit, double back, hit, double back, hit. And uh, so, otherwise, if he's diving into the ground where he's going to stay, you try to desolate dive him out if you have the soul at all. I don't know, know why I did that. I have quick slash, so it's best to, uh, um, yikes, can't talk and get in trouble at the same time. Uh, quick slash is, if you can pin him to a wall, it's really good. He has hit me more times than I wanted him to. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, and I'll only be able to heal one of those back, which is a sorry shame. Okay, so I've got one back. I'll have to to play catch up here in a minute. Ooh, it's Tiso. I've been uh, okay. So Cyclone Slash is the name of the game here. Dash through. There we go. Ooh, darn! I hate that particular thing that it does. Sometimes when you're uh, Cyclone Slashing, you just use a nail art. It won't let you double jump out of it. I don't really understand what, what's going on there. I'm going to let him hit me and jump on my face twice. And um, so I want to get me a heal in. And he is not obliging. Okay, so there, this is how you this is how you lose. No, um, I'm getting a little bit uh, better and better at it. I'm going to try to get some make up some difference on the uh, Hellmaster Oro and Mato and stuff. I'm gonna dash and if I can get him to commit I can get away and get a heal. So yep there we go hitting pow 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 and he's gonna go across getting to commit heal. Alright there we go and Pogo underneath pow 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 and Pogo. Wow, that was a beautiful display. Okay, I don't love having been limited in uh, my soul against these two guys, 
I um, do a lot of great slashes. I hop away and kind of loop back. Avoid, come back and hit him. Avoid, come back and hit him. What? Cheap. All right, desolate dive to allow myself some room to escape. You guys are both hitting a lot. I don't like it. We're supposed to take turns. Okay, I'm going to get a heal in while he's doing that. And then... Okay. They, they're, they're making it a little harder on me than what they typically do. Okay, so hop away. And uh, come back in and hit. I'm going to... Desolate dive there. Okay, come on, dudes. Step away and hop in. Again, the uh, that's a good time to heal. So, if you can get him to commit to something, then you can get a heal in. And he's toast. There we go. So we did it. They they were a little more challenging that time than what they typically are. So, sorry dudes. Let's pick up our lifeblood. And let's get ready to keep on going. I just poke him in the toe. And I wait for the spinny spin. And then just step in. And uh, then you have to be aware of how it's going to return. To be out of the way. Also, if you can't see the spinny spin, listen to him. He like he like says something each time. Ow. I would have preferred you not do that, sir. That was a close one. Poke. And uh, this one just, for me, in this style of fighting, it just takes significantly longer, so. The blasts, if you have them to give, um, they carry him sideways and hit him, like, twice. So it's a really good way to do it, but, um, you know. There we go. Who do? He jumped. And you're dead. Okay. Next. Alright, Crystal Guardian time. Just try to lean in on him with your nail real hard. And I'm not going to do my abyss shrieks on him. Woo! Like, shot my backside. And um, he's toast. So you can just dash through and be on the other side. And Abyss Shriek is, is real good to use. Since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and Abyss Shriek wants to start off this fight. I'm going to use the Abyss Shriek. Oh, uh, I almost dashed into him. That was silly. Okay, just try to get up underneath him. And it's warpy time. Now he's going to smash down somewhere, I think, between four and ten times. I wait and give him a little pause. Not like the Soul Tyrant. I can't move that fast or he'll kind of adjust. There we go. So right as he finishes like his whole like... This is when we come. I think that's four or five. Hit him. I dash underneath. And then just pogo upward. Dash and let it hit the floor. Pogo, pogo, upward. I guess that's not a pogo. This will up slash, up slash. So... And he's dead. If he's on the ground, you can get up pretty close to him and then dash through him to kind of avoid. All right. These guys are more of a pain because uh, I like to use soul against them. Um, so they're, they're harder to keep back. So, you know, they're, they're going to make it more challenging on me. I'm going to go ahead and move this way and let them get a little farther. One more hit, I think, and um, one more sh uh, Shade Blast, and I think they will be... Yeah, yeah, into enragement time. 
Okay. I did the dash, not necessarily to hit, but to uh, get get through and use my shade cloak to not get hit by the uh, shooty thing. So. Ah! Okay. I almost got that one. All right. I just uh, step aside, and right as they're finishing up... Oh, yeah. Sick move, me. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I meant to just do a normal great slash, but I was doing it upward or downward or something, so... Now, right after that, you may need some uh, health, so... Because they're, they're a pain in the butt. So if you can just heal when the Mantis comes and is on the bottom level... Like, he's hanging on the wall, but if he's on the bottom level... Actually, she... It will spin the thing out and give you a chance to heal right here. You have a perfect time to heal. So you even want to may want a slow player and not hit her a ton so you can create more opportunities for that to happen. Because um, you know, you don't you don't get to like store up the soul to heal with because of our soul binding. So, Alright, do some. Stay in this middle area if at all possible, because they can just appear on top of you. Um, Abyss Shrieks are a great use against them. Pogos are a very positive way to uh, fight them as well. Again, I'm breaking my rule, going a little bit too far that way, pull him down. Get a couple strikes in. Pogo. Pogo. I'm not going to be able to get the one on the wall. But I'm going to uh, get the one in the air. Okay, pow pow. Going to get you. And it gets substantially easier. You know, each one you knock out. So... Alright. When somebody jumps on the wall, we'll have a desolate, I mean, a, a bis shriek for him. So that'll be good. Whoops. Breaking my rules. There, he's done, and she went to a weird place. I guess, I, again, they're all, they're she's, they're sisters of battle, so. Alright. Bow, bow, bow. And let's keep on going. It's good to build this these uh, lifeblood up, if if at all possible. I know you're doing a binding, so you know you just it's, it's definitely can be difficult. Marmu, just try not to freak out. If you if Marmu appears right uh, up above you, a um, a uh, abyss shriek is a good idea. Otherwise, just get used to that. Hitting and then jump in Marmu's mouth. Really try. Into a new uh, portal of goodness. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. One more time. Pow, pow. And I go down here and do a desolate... Or I don't know why I can't keep track of my spells, what they're called. And uh, up strikes are uh, a positive way to hit. And um, they keep you protected pretty good down in this little area. So I just kind of build the soul and release it in an abyss shriek. For him, I try not to get too greedy. And uh, just get a couple of hits in. Ugh. All right. Playing the Lost Kin and going back and forth between the Lost Kin and him can be a bit of a pain because uh, their speeds are so different that um, you can get the feel of certain things. And So I come here in the middle, hit him, get a desolate dive in, hit him again, and usually you can mostly build your soul back up to keep doing that. You just have to keep track of the um, where the stuff's coming from. Now, Galleon hates himself some Abyss Shriek, so if you can just basketball bounce this big one back and forth, it's by far the most threatening thing that Galleon has for you. A lot of the other stuff, to me, is just much more of a distraction. I do hate it when Galleon comes down 
and hits you himself like he almost did just then but um otherwise you could just step um out darn he got me there we go it, if you could just step back and forth right to left to keep bouncing the scythe ball thing back and forth it really helps Ugh, it's me all right for this i'm just doing a bunch of great slashes with the yellow paint i just hop over it with this paint i jump back and uh, dash in red paint i jump through the little hole and cyclone slash yellow paint and jump through the hole cyclone blue paint slash in i get another slash dash in and step out just you yikes okay he got me or he almost got me okay not a lot of room my dude jump over it he's almost toast i think cyclone slash oh he's good still still around i don't know why i stopped charging okay and he's gone now something to keep in mind when the purple comes down the purple never comes down twice in the same spot so right as it drops you can kind of move into that spot and uh it's not there's not gonna be another drip on top of your head for at least that particular strike okay coming and getting some more lifeblood this is going pretty well for me now and we're going to come on out and it's Hive night time, bonk. Ooh. Okay. I pogo, and when, um, hmm. Ow, I came like perfect, like perfect. Golly, Hive night. Dash across. All right, I'm gonna. I'm kind of getting like suddenly quiet. Yeah, he's gonna take like a bunch of them. And that's frustrating. He usually doesn't give me that much of an issue, but uh, he did. So sorry, I kind of dropped out on any tips as I was getting uh, hit. All right, so Elder Who is is best used as a as a refuel. So you can just pick away at him in one two three uh hits and you're uh, able to heal again and then when he does that where it comes in from both sides simultaneously you can uh, walk over to the side and get a single heal in so just dash over get your single heal in and then come back to fight him um just hold that that shade cloak until the stuff's coming down and uh i wouldn't like dash over to him in order to try to get a hit in, just be patient. Um, no, he can take a little while. I've heard people voice frustration about how long he takes, but look at it as a look at it as a good thing. You can pick away at him and still have opportunities to heal, so you can uh, be fueled up for future fights in in the pantheon. Next up's the collector. I dash in and I hit him once, and because I don't need a heal, I'm going to hit him again. And then I'm gonna abyss shriek him as he goes up. Now um, we don't have a nail weakness in this binding, so I don't have to like great slash or anything as these things come down. I'm gonna handle those first. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, soul back that he he took from me. Dash over here. He can definitely be a pain. And I gotta tell you, on ow, on all four bindings, he's the worst. He is a serious pain in the butt. Okay, gonna have to clean the floor. And uh, he is gone. Yeah, well, so he, he can be a real game changer, so. He, you know, don't be frustrated struggling with him. Okay, so um, if you'll notice the uh, uh, God Tamer Big Beast thing, as it's rolling at you, you can control where it's going to land 
by um, dashing away. And uh, so like right here is where it's going to land. As soon as it like hits the wall, it's dialed in and that's its landing spot. So sometimes it's a lot harder to uh, recognize where that's going to be. Like that last time, it was pretty easy. This time, it's not as easy. So, you know, now when I'm up here on the wall. So, dash through. Hey, oh, that was close. I almost got it, but I got away. So, if you can just, like, lure him into where you want it and dash at the last moment and turn around a wacky whack whack and uh, hit him. I don't do the nail arts because uh, I have all the... Uh, I have no weakness with my nail, and so I can hit him three times. I do hit Grim, um, so I can force him up there in his pufferfish phase, and that allows me to, uh, ooh, he's already back. That allows me to get an Abyss Shriek on him. So if you know those are coming, that's a pretty good way to damage him. But I get it, you know, you may want to save it for opportunities of healing. Pogo and hit. A double hop, get him, get him, get him, get his bats, get his bats, red-eyed bat. A good time to get a heal in right there, too. He's going to be in his puffer fish. If usually in that bat stage, if you can hit him a couple times, um, he'll be coming right into puffer fishville. Hippity hop, pow, pow, pow. I didn't quite get him. Whoa, I wasn't, I was, step in, warp through. Ooh, okay. I wasn't ready, so I couldn't get my Abyss Shriek in on him. That's all right, though. Just be patient. Double hop. Double hop. Here's a good time to get a single heal in. Dash through. Bats time. It's bats times. All right. Double hop. And he's done. So that second bat's time where he flies around is you can't necessarily expect him to come and do the puffer fish. I think there's four times he will do a puffer fish phase. That is if you hit him in the beginning. So. Okay. Filling up. That's good. And, um. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's keep going. Don't fall into the poison. All right. These guys right here. Okay. You can get um, a hit with your dream nail on them. Right as they... Uh, Right as about half the uh, infection or whatever it is has gone into them. No! I pushed the button! You no! Know. Alright. So that's, that's pretty good. That gives me a... There's an opportunity to strike them. I'm not in a good place. All in all, this hasn't been too bad, though, assuming I will hold out. If you need some heals, you can uh, lure him into, like, a roll. Just hop over, get a heal on this last guy. You know, and then you'll have to hit him, like, three times to get the opportunity because of the soul. Oh, man. Because of the soul um, binding, but... Uh, you can try to rebuild a little bit here. Now, next is Umu, I believe. And I do think Umu needs to be a rebuild boss. So I think you should practice him until you feel comfortable enough with Umu to uh, get back. This is a safety platform for me, at least. And um, I stay here because when that attack comes, I can... Uh, I can just warp to the wall and come right back. So I go back up to this safety platform. And I'm about to shoot him. Is it going to work? Yeah, it did. 
I'm gonna try it. Oh, I didn't get it. I was scaring myself. Okay, so. No. Okay, wind up my dream nail for a hit. I have to go across. And right now, I ought to do it. I thought it would be done. But, uh, oh well. I think I'll get him if I hit right there. Yeah, so, losing some lifeblood, but, uh, alright. It'll be okay. Alright, now it's time for the Winged Nosk. I try to jump up and get a couple hits in on the Winged Nosk. I only got one, but, uh, that was close. Just gave me a little thin margin. Now, I do like to shoot the Nos because it comes to the side. Um, the closer you are when it shoots out the spray of stuff, I think is the easiest to avoid it. You can see the arch a little better. The Wing Nos is making it harder on me because he's calling those things right as he goes. So, yeah. Wow. I got a little, that well, went like right through my horns too, so. Okay, upstairs. I don't have a desolate dive to use to give myself some iframes to, uh, I'm going to try it this time though. Here we go. Step in. And, uh, just keep going. Step in. Come on, be done. Nope. Not yet. Okay. Hope for the best. There we go. Stepped out of the way just in time. And he's dead. Okay. Don't let Hornet's mask touch the ground. Doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop doop. Alright, Sly. I use a lot of great slashes. This is nail arts central for me. And try not to get too far away from Sly so he doesn't break off his attack. Um he has such a wide range that you do have to be fairly far away, but if you get too far away, he'll he'll break off his attack. And one of the things you can use against Sly is um, how he he's um, yeah I can't think of the words. You know what's coming with with Sly. So see he broke that off because I was too far. He's predictable. There's the word. So, whoo! If you're training on Sly, I would try to get used to that, um, this technique first. You know, just staying out of the way of it. And then, then that second one that he broke off, work on uh, getting more familiar with that and stepping right out of range and then back in. This you have to time to get far enough over him. Nice! Darn. Ooh. I kind of lucked out right there, but, um... Anyway, stand on this, like, the, the farthest forth by this little platform. It lets you see where he's coming from best. And then, likewise, if he chases you off to the other side, do the same. Stand about where his little shrine is. See, I'm going to go there now. Um, and to me, that's the best... Oops, he got me. That's the best way to see him and where he's coming from. Okay. You can get a, um, a hit. And with the... Oop. Uh, no disrespect. And it's Hornet Sentinel time. Now, this is significantly more difficult for me. And uh, the reason why is because um, you can't really use your... Uh, your soul blast to clean out um, her little thorny things that she puts in the air. You can do it uh, like once or so, but um, then you'll have to uh, start pogoing them until you get your enough soul to do it again. So. All right, she's about to start doing it. 
But okay, now you have to just kind of pogo and, and, you know, she's, you still have to prioritize them because uh, they're a pain and they will muddy up your playing field a ton. So it's okay if you don't hit anything but those. Don't worry about it too much, but you've got to get them out of here. All right, I, I get quiet when you know I'm like having having uh, a lot of a lot more concerns. All right, Hornet, you're close to done. I really think. Got her. Okay. Well done, though. Well done. She she fought she fought well. She's she's a pain. It's a serious pain when you can't clear out her stuff. All right, so I'm gonna jump on uh, on out for. Uh, we'll see you at part two.